I'm Katie. I'm Laura. And we are here to review our 13 stitches of Halloween. Or however many we stitched on. Yeah, we actually stitched on more than 13 projects each. Uh, but we will we'll get to that. We'll show you everything. So you want to start us off? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to reach down here and pull out every time. So I started the month with Miss Fortune from the Prairie Schooler, my very tatty torn up copy <laughs> and i made quite a bit of progress on her oops looks like my needle came loose um so right now he made extra progress on her since we got stuck in st louis yeah <laughs> this is what she looks like so i did put in a little bit of the orange i have some more of the uh, brown black to go in before i actually get to finish up but i think i'm changing the witch's face and her hands to green and thanks to our friend connie there is a lighter shade of green in its wall that still might come into play yeah if we can if we can find it yes so um and this one i have a lot of mine in love you more sleeves so this one is in this fun sleeve <laughs> How about you my first project was the halloween wreath from the frosted pumpkin so i have photos because it's digital this was the first piece and we still don't know what the rest of the pieces are um and i am hopefully actually going to work on this some more um tonight and tomorrow night so i can get it done i can get the first part done before the next part releases because this is how far i made it during those first couple of days that we were doing the challenge very cute look at those roofs so yeah i just have i just have a bunch of fill in to do now and you have your your frog what yes. is it it is my anti-frog potion needle That's minder it. so cute and what bag do you have that in oh i have a dot dot goose bag um it's actually little miss muffet i think it's supposed to be halloween because they're they're like orange spiders and bats everywhere there you go very cute it very much fits this project and the color scheme and everything um my next one is from an across the river event so i usually call this dark night and it's designed by rosie and me who is the owner of the our lns in blue springs and this time i managed to get i had the grass done before so this time i managed to get the cat and some of the lettering finished look at that cat you guys i love it so fun and this one i have in this bag which is like all bling it's um foiled the black is foiled on the pumpkins so pretty and i am doing midnight magic i think that's the name um by stitch rovia this was in last year's october issue september or october issue of um cross stitcher magazine which is the uk based magazine and i actually got a lot in this year um i got that whole top part in i had barely started on the clouds last year and i think i had like one of those turrets in and then i did everything else very so, cool and i love your fabric yes and it's by who fabrics by stephanie i think it might be a fabrics by stephanie i um picked it up i think i i think that this is yeah i picked this up at galleria last year mm. and, and then the bag. the bag is an 805 stitcher bag look at them i love them um and i don't think you can really see the inside all that well because i just put the fabric back in it's a really pretty black in there yeah so my next one is halloween quaker by leela's studio and what I decided with this one, I started it a, a few years ago for the um, Magical Stitches challenges in the group on Facebook. And what I've decided is that I really dislike the fabric that I am using. So I am UFOing this. However, don't despair. Keisha loves it, loves the fabric, and she's taking it and she will be finishing it. So 
it will get loved. I'm keeping my pattern. I don't know if I'll do the whole thing or if I will just do parts of it, but I will do something at a little bit later date. Mm -hmm. Oh, and mine is in. It's temporarily in this beautiful bag from Lake House Stitcher. You can't see the inside. The inside is a purple paisley. Really cool. My next project is Wicked Witch by Lottie Da. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Love this one. Um, And I got another verse in this year. This is one that actually stitches up really fast. Um, I had a lot of not... I, I had a lot of days this month where I didn't have a lot of stitching time and I was able to put in this whole chunk of verse in just a couple hours. So I honestly think I could probably finish this if I would mm -hmm. maybe spend like a Friday night stitching on it and just, just get it done. Um, but I love this one. Just do it. <laughs> and then it is in my Hocus Pocus bag from the 805 stitcher. So cute. And the inside on it before you put that in is, is purple. purple with polka dots. My next one, I'm working on Olga. Eventually, I will have both Olga and Boris. Actually, they'll go this way. Tail to tail on the same piece of fabric. Uh, Olga has the uppercase alphabet and Boris has the lowercase alphabet. I'm stitching this on a piece of 32 count um, jack-o'-lantern from x -Ju Designs. I had to think there for a minute. So the fabric is great. And this one, it's not really Halloween, but I let myself, this was one of my monthly whips. So I, after I UFO'd the one and only worked one day, I pulled this out and worked on it. And then I worked on it again last night during our chat and finished up the cat and the pumpkins and things at the bottom. So I really don't have that much more to go. And this one I have in a really cute bag from Fat Cat Flossing. And this is it. I love it. So fun. Um, so I actually think my next project, um, I, I stitched it on the same week that you stitched on the the Halloween sampler from Lila's studio. Because oh, okay. like it was the it was the day that you and I had had like no stitching time and had made very sad progress on both of our pieces. Um I honestly I I think I, I filled it, I did like one little length of thread in here and that that was it that was my grand accomplishment we did have a couple of really challenging days where we did not get a lot of stitching done that's for sure my next one is quaker crow from the work basket i love this there are way more stitches in this than you think there are and this one is on a piece of 32 count fabric by Susan, who is X Stitch Fancies, and she dyed this and um, had it in keepsakes. And I bought it when Katie and I are on our trip. But before, I just had the legs in, so I did all of this. But this fabric is like the real star here. <laughs> so pretty. And this one is in another Love You More sleeve. I love this one with all the bones. Um, my next one is Wicked Stitcher Society. Oh, I love this by Silver Creek Samplers. And um, I made some more progress on the witch this year. I got, I think I got all of the green in um on her. I don't think there's any more green to fill in. So little by little, this one is getting done. Um, and this is in a Little Boat 88 bag. Whoop, I just dropped something. Um, there you go. Oh, I dropped my cover page for my pattern. And then inside are some spiders. What do you have next? <laughs> well, I may have gotten these out of order when the cat jumped up there. Um, I had a new start, my only new start of this year. Another Year Creeps By by Ink Circles. I love this because it just looks like a sampler. And then you look at those crazy squares and they are creepy. And this one is on a beautiful piece of wisteria from Color and Cotton. It's a 32 count. And oh, with the stork scissor needle miter. Yeah. I got that. So I finished 
I have to, I, yeah, it goes this way because I left the stork on on purpose. So I would know <laughs> I went across the bottom and I've started up the side with the borders and, you know, just making sure that everything will fit. And this one is in this cute penny and tunny bag. I love the panel that they used. And then on the back, they used all of these fun pumpkins. My next project is the Cricut Collection. And Ooh. it is Sleepy Hollow. It's like the cursed project. Um, but I am not going to give up on this thing. It's gonna get freaking done. It better because I've stitched way too much on that thing. <laughs> like, but but it may need to be like locked in a vault when I'm not working on it. But the accident happened when I was working on it this time. I don't know. But uh, I didn't make a ton of progress because of what happened. But I did get those trees over here where my forehead is in. I don't know if that sentence came out correctly. I stitched this whole house. <laughs> so there you go. And I think the path leading out to it so that I could do it. <laughs> uh, and what do you have that in? Um, this is i honestly the bag like the cool part of the bag is covered up and i don't i can't see the the tag right now you you got this for me for my birthday actually it has like a haunted house panel in here but it's so full that you can't really can't really see the whole thing very cool and you know i went on etsy we were actually uh planning a retreat and i spotted these and thought katie loves halloween i'm gonna bookmark these and come back yeah um, mom and I, we do extensive research when we put together the lists of things to find for our digital retreats. And it's dangerous because we can, we add a lot of stuff to our Etsy carts. I, I added a ton. I don't check out right most of the time, but I'm like, I want that. And I want that. And I want that. <laughs> and sometimes that's enough just to put them in your cart. Yes. Right. Um, my next one is by Alessandra Adelaide and it's called Halloween. I love this one. I am stitching it on a piece a 32 count Belfast by Picture This Plus in the colorway French Lilac. So mine is purple. And I'm using a couple of Planet Earth silks. Um, so far, I've only used the one Vapor, but I do have an orange that I'll be using. And I really, I can only work on this for a little bit. So this year I did this whole big swoop from the center out. So I'm getting there. And I have this one in this beautiful bag, Project Bags by Judy, with the owls on it. Do you see them? It's tulip pink fabric. Mm -hmm. I love this. Just a pretty purple inside. My next one, I actually got a lot of stitching time in on. Um, it is All all, all, blah, all Hallows Eve by Leela's Studio. I think this was a Friday night project, wasn't it? No, this was actually a Sunday project for me. Mm. Um, but I just, I, I decided to take the day to stitch and enjoy myself. I watched Charmed while I stitched this. So this is the design. And then I, I really actually wanted to put in extra time on this one this year because I was supposed to start it last year and I forgot. Um, it was the forgotten project. So I, I just did a lot of stitches this year on it and made really good progress. I like that I got like all of the top, bottom, and sides. Like I know that everything's gonna fit well. Yeah. On here. And I have a I have a good counting off place for all the other elements now. Awesome. And what do you have in it? It is in a bag from a mystery maker um from Reflections. so cool look at those cats it looks like my cat looks like bella mm -hmm. my next one is jumping cat by dames of the needle and i finally figured out that my problem with this one was that i had um started on the wrong thread so i pushed through and got all these pumpkins finished at the bottom i have a little bit of the greenery to finish on them and then i have a plan to uh take care of stitching that cat and i will be finished with this this one I have in another Love You More sleeve, and it's it's just cool fabric that Katie found. Look at the ladies. I love it. My next one is Boo from Hello from Liz Matthews, which was in Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. I did it without looking. That's always the test it to is. say that one. It really it? is. Um, and I have to find it on the giant piece of fabric. 
it is on um, Stars Hollow fabric, actually, from r r And this was my start. And this is the one that I did not know that there was an error in printing with the key. And so I stitched Boo in the wrong color. And everybody has unanimously agreed that I just need to keep going. And mm -hmm. I think that's what I'm going to do. And we're going to see how I like it. But I am going to change the color. Like, I'm going to... I'm going to stitch the colors the the called for way, the correct way, according to the correction. Um, so then afterward, I'm going to see if I like boo or not and make a decision from there. Awesome. What do you have this in? This is in a Sheba Designs bag. Oh, yes. Um, there we go. I love that. This is a new to us. Oh, look at the spider maker. webs. Yeah, it's yeah. This is a new to us bag maker, and we really, really like her. Um, I got mom a couple actually, mm -hmm. and mom was kitting up a project. She's like, this goes perfectly. It matches all it's sitting right yes. there. So my next one is Halloween This Way by the Primitive Hair. And Katie had started this, and I um I took it and then I decided that I was stitching on the wrong thread. So I decided to start over and in the process found out that it's a good thing I did because I wouldn't have had enough room. Um, I had, when I did it, when I took it from Katie, I turned it the wrong direction because the fabric. It does have a direction. If you look really closely at the cover images that primitive hair puts on her so. patterns. But I pulled it out, started over, and I got the first sign in at the bottom. That was exciting. And what's it in? It's in this cute sleeve. Look at all the ghosts. Love them. <laughs> uh, my next project is the Adams Family. This is one I did not get a lot of time in um, on. And I had wanted to finish filling in the house this year. Um, but I did not, um, but you can see, I, I, this was actually even the night that mom was showing you guys what she had stitched on. And I was trying to get just a few more stitches in while, while she talked. So I was trying to stretch, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you just fill this whole house in all the way to the bottom here. And it's even the windows are that dark color. So awesome. What's it in? It is, um, it's in an 805 stitcher bag. Look at those crazy people. It has little tomatoes inside that look like pumpkins. <laughs> um, and it is needle bling fabric and it is pumpkin pie. Awesome. Okay, my next one I only got one day in on. It's a Halloween sampler by, a Halloween sampler one by Homespun Elegance. And this is what it looks like. Very fun and primitive. I love this one. And um, I actually made quite a bit of progress in my one night. I only had this E and a few rows of this moon when I started. So I did all the rest of this, including the um, straight stitch for the um, outline of the boxes. And this one is on 28 count golden wheat linen. And I have it in this Tula pink fabric, one of the ones that Katie found hidden cache of it so awesome my next one is spooked mystery sampler by lizzie kate i started on the first part of it um because this is actually pattern number three where you can see all three of them together mm -hmm. um but it was a mystery pattern or a mystery sampler so you didn't get to see the whole thing together until the very end and i am stitching it on some gorgeous fabric from jody this is this was my start this year this was a new start for me very cool um i actually and you're probably you're not seeing the border here um i actually had we to can change see it in there okay i actually had to change my border it called for flatfish and that was not showing up i ended up changing it to mocha um just to make it show up a little bit more there but yeah i love this um but so I didn't get quite the start on it that I'd wanted to because I was I am a corner starter and I wanted to start on that border and it took me a hot minute to to rewire my brain the the night that I did the end up doing the black on it. And what do you have it in? 
I have it in an 805 Stitcher bag. I swear she didn't pay us to like do this or anything. I just, I have a lot of her bags. I like her bags. Um, there you go. Very vintage. It is. It is the perfect bag. I mean, look, look at the pattern background and everything. Like it's like the perfect colors and everything to go in this bag. And I love the diamonds that she used inside yes. this. It's very pretty. So yeah, I love it. Okay. So my next one is Hair's Halloween from Plum Street Sampler. Um, and this one, I solved my, what was holding me up by taking a picture on, with my phone of the pattern and then stretching it. And it made it so much easier that I got a bunch in. I finished up this little rabbit, all her little bits, and I did all of the black on here. And look at those socks. I just think they're the best. And this fabric is a um, a solo dye from Silk Weaver. And it is in my Hocus Pocus sleeve from Love You More from when we did our box. I love the smoke fabric in the back with the black flame candle. My next one is The Stitch Witch by Tiny Modernist. Ooh, come down a little bit there. <laughs> and I am doing it on Peddler's Blend. And this was my start. Ooh, it looks so pretty on there. Yeah, I really like it on here because it's that same neutral, but it's just a little distressed. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be so cool. I love yes. it. Yes. Um, and it is in before I put the pattern in and block it all. It's in a lin bag, and I don't know if you guys can see, but the orange inside is actually kind of shimmery. It is so pretty. It is. And then show them the back. So we get to see it all. You'll get to see this fabric in a couple of minutes. <laughs> My next one is Ichabod Seabury by uh, the Primitive Needle. And I just, I love this one. It Mine is on 36 count swamp from Picture This Plus. And putting it in the hoop really helped me this year. I managed to fill in the black behind this and one of the stars all of the black in here and then all of this white so i got quite a bit done and it is in this sleeve i think that i think we called it 300 fox way again i think so yeah the okay. blue version <laughs> my next piece was ghastly greetings oh, i love this by satsuma street and this year I finished off the little owls. <laughs> they're so cute. I love the colors on the black. I do still have to do the little branch that they're sitting on, but yeah, they're a little floaty right now. Huh? <laughs> uh, but yeah, they're, they're pretty much done. And then it's another word section to start. I feel like this is the ending of a section and then there's another section. <laughs> What do you have this in? This is in another 805 Stitcher bag. Also another Hi, Hocus Tara. Pocus. Hi. And inside are orange uh, and black polka dots. Very cute. Uh, so when Katie did her Lizzie Kate, I did my Lizzie Kate. Very scary. And I had previously finished the first, the top block. And I was in the middle of the second one. So I got a lot of this done. I really only have this row of leaves and then I need to fill in the satin stitch. It'll look like these. And this part, I think there's one more little band that goes underneath it. And then the second part will be done. So, and it is in my bag from the Black Needle. That's the Autumn Lane bag that he did for our uh, September box last year. Love it. My final project, my final of the 13. I have more. <laughs> I have one more, but this is my final of the 13. Oh, okay. Was Witch Training Academy by Kathy Barrick. And I am doing it on the Stitch Me fabric. I want to say it's trick or treat. I want to say. Um, and then I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you, cause I'm looking through the fabric. It's you hold it up. Okay. It's right here. She started her skirt. Is it the right direction though? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. It's right here. <laughs> so there you go. Um, 
this actually I got a I got a decent amount of time in on it and I probably could finish filling in her skirt if I spent a couple more hours but we were stitching on Friday night and it was already past midnight by the time we were all like I'm just too tired to keep going that may be the night that I said my eyes are crossing <laughs> I gotta stop <laughs> what is this one in this one is in a bag from athena actually for our birthdays um mom got one too that's similar um it is from pinky promises oh here i'll just show you the back first it has a cat eye i love that and then here's the inside uber creepy scene so cool my next one is halloween fairy by nora corbett mirabilia it was in a magazine originally and we printed it off out of there so I could just use it and this one I am stitching on a piece of 36 count solo dye linen from silk weaver and I love my fabric and you know I was trying to talk myself into just being done when I finished the lady but Katie says I have to put everything on it <laughs> so I finished that bottom section of her skirt with all the cute little flippy things and really she is I think she is done other than the beading so uh and while I was stitching on her I had a little bitty cat um needle minder that I sat oh. on the other arm it was pretty cute but I love this fabric so and this one is in such an exciting bag you guys it's oh, in oh, we match it's in this bag however I have a dragon eye keeping watch over me well my 14th project um i actually had wanted to have it done before october but i actually ended up finishing it last night during our stitch with us um so that was fun and i don't have to pull a picture up anymore because it's basically done um it is lizzie borden by the primitive hair I don't know if you're getting the whole thing because of where the crease is. Yes, um, the yes. only thing that I have to do now, um, she calls for French knots and I'm going to do beads um, and they're on her dress here and on her cuffs. Um, but I'm going to just find some beads to substitute in there. Um, but other than that, it's done. I'm so excited. Um, so I didn't count Olga as a 13 stitches of Halloween. But this is my 14, 13 stitches of Halloween. And it's Nevermore by Leela Studio. And this one, um, I think I pushed a little bit extra on this because I wanted to finish that bottom border. And I actually finished it and got started on the black. So everything is the green at the bottom. And then the black is the line right above that band. And then the corner that I've started. So it's a pretty big wide band. This is 36 count feldspar by Picture This Plus. Really pretty fabric. I love it. And I told you you would get to see this fabric again. So in my Judy's Project Bags and More, I have this. And her inside looks like this. Mm. So cool. So that is my last project. And um, I had one more that if i i thought if i had time i would start did not get there you guys unanimously well no i think we had nearly one. unanimously one. voted for me <laughs> to start another year creeps by but i'll save the other one for later on next year whatever so that's well, it that was a lot of projects it was it was fun some projects got more love than others just because mm -hmm. of how the month goes and all of the stuff that we're doing behind the scenes too get the halloween boxes out and also the nice list boxes out uh which speaking of the nice list and december we will be back in december to unbox the nice list one day at a time so we will be doing this every day in december mm -hmm. um and showing you stitching progress and um showing you the items that we've included but we are hoping whether or not you bought the nice list that you will join us for the 12 days of stitching uh which we host we really host it here on um floss tube, on floss tube um but we will also put a graphic up for Instagram and you can join us there as well. We love and that is our hashtag. Yeah. Hashtag 12 days of stitching. The number 12 days yes. of stitching. So 
Um, and all we do is encourage you to stitch on a Christmas or winter project, but you don't even have to do that. We just encourage you to pick project and stitch for 12 to days. Just stitch, yeah. stitch, stitch. Yes, 12 days, 12 hours. Mom, mom could break it down for you in, in a bunch of different ways. <laughs> but you all know the drill. Yes. So is that it? I believe that's it. So we will be back in December. Thank you for joining us and we will see you then. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.